Hi everyone, welcome to the University of Greenwich Open Day. My name is Farah and I work in the Outreach and Educational Partnerships team here at the University of Greenwich. And today I am going to be talking about all things T-levels. So what exactly are T-levels? Now they are a technical level three qualification and they are relatively new. They launched in 2020 and it is a two year program of study for 16 to 19 year olds. So they follow the level two qualification of GCSEs. One T-level, um, which runs for two years, is equivalent to three A-levels. And really, T-levels are all about a combination between classroom-based learning and also a work placement as well. And they are developed in collaboration with the government, um, businesses and employers. Um, and really, they're about giving students the opportunity to learn, um, but also practice those skills in a workplace environment and the uh, certification is um, managed by the Institute for Apprenticeships and Technical Education. So the TFL structure they do differ um, slightly from um, A-levels and BTECs so they are 80% classroom learning and 20% industry placement um, over two years. So basically what that means is students spend 80% of their time in a learning environment, in a classroom, learning the content and learning the skills um, that they need. And then with the other 20% of their time, they use those skills that they learned and put them into practice in an actual workplace industry environment. The placement um, in industry has to last a minimum of 45 days. And basically it is a wonderful opportunity for students to get really valuable experience working um, with an employer and getting a really early insight into what that field is like, what that area is like, and also gives students a chance to think about um, their career prospects. So maybe it is an area that they feel like they would like to work in in the future. And having that work placement really, you know, determines that for them or kind of um, impacts them a lot that that's maybe a career that they would be interested in. So T-level grades, um, just to mention that the University of Greenwich does accept T-levels at their full UCAS tariff. Um, so basically what that means is UCAS tariff points are um, a system that all universities in the UK use and you need a certain number of points to um, get onto a course and study it at university. So various courses um, have differing UCAS points and you can normally find what the exact UCAS points are on university web pages. So you can go onto the University of Greenwich website, find all the courses we have on offer. And when you click into them, you can see exactly what the UCAS points that you need are um, to uh, get onto the course and get a place. So what does that mean in terms of your grade at T levels? So when you complete your two year of study, you will get an overall grade. This could be from distinction star to pass. Um, so for example, if you got a distinction star at T level, this would be 168 UCAS points. And that is actually equivalent to three A stars at A level and also um, three distinction stars at BTEC. Um, also, if you got a merit, that is equivalent to 120 UCAS points, um, and that's equivalent to three Bs at A-level, and also distinction merit merit or distinction distinction merit at BTEC. So you can kind of see here basically what the T-level grade means in terms of UCAS points. So the course is available and how do you apply to university um, after you complete your T-levels? So for T-levels, again, we accept them at the full UCAS tariff rates, and that's for entry into our undergraduate programs, um, including extended courses. So extended courses are when a program has a foundation year built in. So instead of being a three-year undergraduate degree program, it changes to a four-year undergraduate degree program, with the first year being a foundation year. 
and also entry into or degree apprenticeships and degree apprenticeships are part-time study at university and part-time work with an employer. Um, like I said, um, like all level three qualifications, like A-levels, like BTECs, T-levels are also assessed on the UCAS tariff. So for specific courses, they will have different UCAS tariff points. So for some courses, you might need 112 UCAS points. For other courses, you might need 120. This will differ from university to university and from course to course as well. Um, in order to calculate how many points you have, how many UCAS points, you can use a really handy tool called the UCAS Tariff Calculator. And this is the link um, that you can find it. So it's ucas.com slash ucas slash tariff calculator. And all you need to do is put in that your qualification is T-levels, what grade you have achieved, and then it will calculate what that is equivalent to in UCAS points. And then you can determine um, what grades you need um, for what points and then what courses um, are available to you or whether you have enough points for the course you're interested in. Just to note as well that alongside UCAS points, which are the level three qualification, um, you also need other specific requirements for certain courses as well. So some courses do require level two qualifications. So for example, you might need a level two math and English at a C or a four. Some courses also require a science GCSE at a certain grade in order to be um, eligible for that course as well. So just be aware of that and be mindful when you are researching courses what UCAS points do you need um, in terms of your level T level qualification, but also do you need a certain GCSE and certain grade at that to also be eligible? Um, to apply to university, um, you do the same thing as A level students and BTEC students do as well, and that's applying through UCAS. So to apply for undergraduate degrees in the UK, you use a system called UCAS. So T-levels are no different from every other qualification. You apply through the same route, which is through UCAS. So um, in the next few slides, I'm just going to demonstrate some T-level routes. So for example, if you study a certain T-level, um, there could be a really um, matching course at undergraduate level. So I'll just demonstrate some of that, some of those. For example, if you studied a T-level in design, surveying and planning for construction, at the University of Greenwich, we have a course um, ESC Quantity Surveying. So this is a nice match um, for your T-level um, to progress into an undergraduate degree. Next up, um, we've got the T-level in Education and Childcare. And the University of of Greenwich course that we have on offer. We have a BA in early years. So this is also a nice matchup um, from a T-level in education and childcare into the higher education course of early years. Um, so you have that good match and a good progression from level three to university level. Also, if you study a T-level in digital production, design and development, um, a matching University of Greenwich course that we have is BA Graphic and Digital Design. So it's just another good route from your T-level in Digital Production Design and Development. You could obviously look at a course in Graphic and Digital Design. Um, it's just a nice match up as well to help you with that progression. And that is the talk today on T-Level. So thank you for listening. I really hope that you got some really good information on what T-Levels are and what some routes into university are, what courses are available. Um, but like I mentioned, we do have full course web pages. So you can find all our undergraduate programs on our website. It goes into a lot of detail about what the course is like, what modules you'll study, but also lists all of the entry requirements that you need to um, get a place on the course. So things like what UCAS points you need, but maybe what GCSEs you also need as well. 
and also make sure to use the UCAS tariff calculator to calculate what UCAS points you have from your T-level qualification. So I hope that was helpful and thank you for listening. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Goodbye.